Two people believed to have been involved in Thursday's shooting at East Kentwood High School were in court for the first time this afternoon. Police say they are still looking for at least six others who may have also been a part of that shooting. Michael Martin was in court as they were arraigned earlier and is live in the newsroom with the latest. Michael. Janice, Josh, on Friday, the sheriff's office said they thought there were up to five shooters. On Monday, they elaborated on that, saying they're looking for eight people in total who may have been involved in this incident. Today, the first two suspects were in court for the first time. My name is Judge Sarah Smolenski. On Monday, two 18-year-olds appeared via video in a Kent County courtroom, both facing felony charges related to the shooting Thursday at East Kentwood High School. Now, Mr. Abdul Wahab, do you have any questions about those two charges? No, Your Honor. The sheriff's office now says they believe up to eight people were involved, with five people firing shots in the parking lot of the high school just 30 minutes after a graduation ceremony for Crossroads Alternative High School was getting out. It appears the groups of suspects pulled up in a white Hyundai sedan and started to shoot out the vehicle. As the vehicle sped away, another group in attendance at the graduation started shooting back at the fleeing car. Arrested Friday afternoon in Livonia, Shakir Abdul Wahab and Jaki Hill are each facing felony carrying a concealed weapons charges and charges of bringing a weapon into a gun free school zone. While Abdul Wahab said in court that he is currently on probation in the juvenile system, Hill has no criminal record. And you have no involvement with the court system currently except for these charges. Yes, Your Honor. Well, these are like really extremely serious charges with extremely violent nature of the charges being made against you. Two people, both believed to be innocent bystanders, were hit in the crossfire of Thursday's shooting. A 40-year-old woman from Grand Rapids and a 16-year-old boy from Texas, both expected to recover from their injuries. Both of the teenagers charged Monday told the judge they are set to graduate from virtual high schools in June. Abdul Wahab was working at a McDonald's on 28th Street, while Hill said he had been working a full-time position with Lax Enterprises. Both had their bond amounts set at $100,000 cash surety. They are expected back in court on June 6. And we just found out about an hour and a half ago that the Kentwood School Board meeting that was supposed to happen tonight has been canceled for the time being. For now, live in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. And as Michael just mentioned, there are more suspects that they're looking for. Take a good look at this photo uh, released showing who the sheriff's office believes may have been involved in the shooting at East Kentwood. The Kent County Sheriff's Office hopes someone might recognize them. They believe a total of eight suspects were involved. If you have any information or think you may recognize any of the people you see in the pictures, you can call the phone number there at the bottom of your screen. We also have it listed on fox17online.com.